A number of my regular viewers contacted me over the past couple of days asking for my thoughts on the recent allegations surrounding Australian cryptocurrency influencer Alex Saunders, with a number of investors alleging they've been scammed. I didn't want to comment initially, so refrain from doing so. And as a Brit, I generally believe in our system of justice, which is innocent until proven guilty. However, as time passes and Alex has refused to give a response or address the allegations, I think that the time has come for me to do a video. So do you want to find out what has actually happened? Then watch on. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Crypto Money Life. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on the recent allegations and controversy involving Alex Saunders. That will be coming very soon, however before we get onto that a quick ask for everyone if you haven't already, sub to the channel, hit that bell icon and if you enjoy the video click the like button. That would be greatly appreciated and helps me get the numbers up on the YouTube algorithm. All subbed? Great, okay let's get on with the video. That's right, Alex Saunders, the man who is affectionately known as Nugget within the cryptocurrency community, has been accused over the past few days of running a scam and as a result running away with a huge amount of Bitcoin. Alex himself is no stranger to scams, however perhaps not in the way that you would think. You see, over the years Alex Saunders who ran or perhaps still runs the YouTube channel Nuggets News has busted a number of people who assumed his identity as others tried to con their way to crypto riches. Things got so bad that in 2018, Alex even went as far as to put out an announcement to his followers, one of them that he would never email his followers asking for money, which is basically exactly what he's doing now. So maybe he's figured out that it actually was a good way to scam people for money. Well, a number of allegations have been flying around during the past couple of days, and this has included accusations of shilling RFOX without declaring an interest, having huge gambling debts, and perhaps most worryingly, borrowing large amounts of crypto and running away with it all. I should say that I have not given or lent any money myself, and he has not asked me or for funds or scam me in any way, but a number of people I am connected to have been affected by his requests and now the accusations are all out there in the public domain and there's quite a lot of them. Well, although the concept of being lent money and running away with it is not something new or unfortunately surprising, what has rocked the crypto world is A, who seemingly carried out the scam, B, the people that have been scammed by him. You see, Alex was seen by many to be a very credible crypto investor and one who would leave a positive mark on the world of crypto. As such, to have a person of this profile that people trusted and believed in and someone with a very large following on social media, well, it's been shocking to many people to say the least. The next point is those that have been scammed. Alex is not alleged to have stolen from any old Tom, Dick or Harry. Indeed, the whole story really started to gain traction on social media when Ben Armstrong of BitBoy Crypto, also known as BitBoy, made public his conversations and history with Alex. On the 22nd July, BitBoy tweeted from his BitBoy Crypto handle, a lot of stuff is coming out and it's clear a lot of people have been scammed. I've been holding this back, but to be honest, I now think it's necessary for people to know the truth. Alex asked me for a 5 BTC loan back in early March. I gave it to him as a friend. Big mistake. He went on to post screenshots of private conversations he had with Alex before going on to say that he hadn't heard from Alex for around three weeks, during a time when Alex had asked him to join a call, presumably to ask for more money. Ben wasn't the only person that Alex had apparently asked for money. On the 18th of July, Richard Hart posted screenshots of private conversations that he had had with Alex alleging that Alex was asking him for a 50 BTC as a loan. That's a huge number. In his tweet under his handle that I won't attempt to read out, rheartsforkingethhex.com, yeah, I won't attempt that. Richard stated, I've never shared a conversation publicly before, but I feel I have to here. Alex begged me for a 50 BTC loan, then he tried to sell me a pre-allocation in a token then tried to sell me on just giving him money to talk. I feel this may represent most paid groups. 
Richard went on to correct this later when he stated that Alex had actually begged for a 20 BTC loan and not a 50 BTC loan as first stated. Others have also pitched in on social media with users That Martini Guy and Didi Tahutu, both also claiming that Alex had asked them for a loan, albeit without either of them providing evidence to substantiate the claims. But you know what they say, there's no smoke without fire. Well, here lies the problem. Alex has not responded to the allegations at all. Let's be blunt here. Alex Saunders has made a living from social media, and he has historically not been someone to stay silent for long. However, over the past few weeks, that has changed, with Alex being unusually quiet on social media for some weeks. Shh. It's oh so quiet. A move which seemingly contradicts his previously high public profile. Without any public response or taking up a public right of reply, tongues have been set off, with Reddit and Twitter blowing up with gossip and rumours around what may have happened. It even hit some of the big major news networks. Some have found it ironic that Saunders, who has in the past been quick to blow the whistle on other scams affecting the crypto community, being the real scammer. Others have been quick to point fingers at BitBoy and others for lending money without a contract or official loan. But whatever your views due to the lack of diligence of those who gave Alex crypto, the fact remains that Alex himself has seemingly disappeared, leaving people out of pocket, which is not a good look. So what's happened here? Well, in truth, we are all just speculating and time may or may not reveal the full extent of the allegations. However, as time passes and all the time that Alex refuses to address the allegations, it is looking increasingly like he has stolen a significant amount of money under the guise of needing it for a loan. Whether this was to service gambling addiction or bad investments, we may never know. What, however, is likely is that those owed money are unlikely to see their loans returned. Certainly in the case of BitBoy, it's hard to imagine that he will see his 5 BTC ever again. So what is the takeaway here? Well, as I have said before and will repeat again, scams have been around since the dawn of time. And as crypto grows in mainstream popularity, they will continue. Let me repeat that. Crypto scams will continue and in all likelihood rise. It's for this very reason that everyone needs to do their own due diligence when it comes to any business transaction involving crypto in exactly the same way as you would if you were dealing with fiat money. You wouldn't loan someone 50k in cash just based on a WhatsApp message alone. So why would you loan someone a large amount in crypto? Is it like you feel they're gambling chips and they don't have real value? Crypto is just as valuable, if not more valuable than fear. You must treat it the same. The allegations around Alex Saunders just go to prove that however well you think you may know somebody and however high profile that person is within the public domain, when it comes to money, you are never 100% safe. As an investor and as a responsible adult, it's on me or you yourself to consider very carefully the implications in the event that I'm considering to loan money to anyone. Because although I may be putting mitigations in place to reduce my perceived risk, it's never fully safe. I really hope that this whole sorry affair gets rectified quickly and that BitBoy and anyone else that lent Alex money gets their funds back in full, but unfortunately it's looking about as lightly as flying pigs. Well guys, those were my opinions about the recent controversy and allegations involving Alex Saunders. I'd love to keep the conversation going. Join my Telegram group. Tell me about it. If you've got any information, put it in the comments down below. I will, of course, try and reply to everyone. And if you haven't already, smash that like button. That helps me get this video going on the algorithm for YouTube. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys soon on Crypto Money Life.